everybody to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection when you retire your plan may be to do nothing at all according to a recent study only eight percent of people say they don't have any dreams for their retirement but for some they want to continue working in a place that doesn't feel like a job at all so 10 percent no i'm sorry the most the 10 most popular dream jobs for retirees are you ready for this let's count them down audrey a business owner, okay. true, right? A mm -hmm. consultant or ooh, a cruise ship lecturer. Okay, cruise lines cool. often look for speakers who share a special knowledge in something such as history of art. Now, other jobs include uh, being an overseas teacher, mm -hmm. home care worker, or work camper. Interesting. So a work camper is somebody who drives around national parks. There's also the option to become a hotel concierge, a virtual assistant, work in tax preparation, or start freelance writing. I don't know if I'd do tax stuff that in my retirement, sound, right? Tax stuff doesn't sound fun <laughs> No. when you're working. Never mind when Never you're mind not when working. We're not working. Just like, something to do. You want me to still like do this? No. 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 So you said you would like to you'd like to work in a little cafe. Well, or I just something want to like, like chit chat that. with people all day. Right. So I'm like, where would I be able to chit chat with people all day? Where it's not like they need you know. Listen, if I was like a server in a restaurant, I have to be be on my feet all day running right, around. But right. if I could just like chit chat, like even like a bookstore. What about being you know they said do that? like a concierge. That would be fun for I, you. I would love that. Like you could work in a, uh, you know, not like, like in a nice hotel. A nice hotel. Not like a pay by the hour place. <laughs> and, and you know, you work in a nice place. Right? Work in a nice place. Thank you for clarifying no, that. You work in a nice place. Yes. In a, you know, a decent sized city and you can like just plan fun for people. Or I could, you know what I would love to do too? I would like just like, love to read like romance books all day and just leave like reviews online. If you could get paid to do that, I would do that. I would imagine people right? do that, yes. Or like if Hallmark Tours of New England. Right, you so could do these that These are just too. some of my retirement plans. I what think, about you, what would look, you do? I would, um, when I, like the second, like if they were to tell me at 9.36. No, at 10.01. At 10.01. 10.01. That I could retire, Arrivederci Roma, I'm out. What would you do though? I would travel. Oh yeah, you would. Yeah, I would You're travel, a big I'd, be, I'd be gone. Yeah. yeah, I'd be gone. But you'd have to yeah. stay for the rest of the show. Well, at least so. Please. <laughs> Not so sure. All right, Brendan. Brendan, what are we doing? I'm going to travel more than LeBron James. Yes. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, I love traveling. I wish I could. There's so many places I want to go, yes. things I want to see, and I think that would be the ultimate. Just do whatever you want. Yeah, I don't understand these people who like hang on to their jobs. They, you know, they could retire, and it's like if you got the means to. Right. They, if you they, could they retire. Yeah. They stick around. It's like dudes. I think that maybe there's a healthy balance. If you're someone maybe. that likes to work, you like the interaction that comes with having a place to go. Maybe you work part time, find sure. something that you like right. to do, and that's why you find so many people out there in retirement. They say, "Well, I'm busier than ever because now they, they don't have the commitment having to be somewhere exactly. full time." Exactly. And, right. You know, their day opens up and they can do more activities. I'm jealous of those people. Oh, come on! I want to be one of those guys, Brent. When we retire, we could be with like the older guys who like, "I'll meet you for coffee tomorrow." Yeah. Oh man. Would you be? Would you, remember when we went to Federal Hill? They had all the guys. Yes. Out, that would be you. Absolutely. We went there, and there were what, like a handful of guys. Handful of guys they do this every morning. They have coffee. Right. They looked relaxed. That's what I want to do. I can see you and Brendan doing that. Yes. Solving all of the world's problems. Yes. <laughs> well, let's check in with our viewers to see what you had to say about this scintillating topic. Oh, it's magic. It's right here today on The Road Show. Zach's up first. Living the life like they show on all of those retirement commercials. Yes, everyone's frolicking and enjoying. Oh, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to professionally frolic in my retirement years. <laughs> Jackie has a good goal to retire by 50. I'd have an RV and travel the U.S. There you go. Good old recreational vehicle. That there's an RV. Uh, Priscilla is up next. A cabin in the mountains of North Carolina. Oh, the Tar Heel State. Or Tennessee. Oh, the Volunteer State is my idea of a dream retirement home with plenty of land to practice my hobbies of gardening, fishing, hiking, and just being outdoors. That sounds pretty darn good. And Dennis retires the comments today. Thank you. With my idea of an ideal retirement job would be a fly fishing guide yeah. in Montana. That sounds beautiful. Beautiful. beautiful there. Absolutely beautiful. fantastic. Big sky country. And if you're paying close attention, you'll see that the comments you know were open. The comments were opened with Zach Weiner and concluded by Dennis Weiner. Hmm. Ooh. I love it. A little family action in the comments. Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for chiming in everyone. And <laughs> as I connect the Weiner family tree right here on the road show right follow us facebook twitter instagram leave your comments and we 